teach you how to use this particular EJSS web editor so typically the comment is uh, it might be difficult to use uh, EJSS so this is EJSS when we, when we make this simulation it's all created in EJSS uh, it has all the codes so it's open source so people can see uh, how the programming is done so this could be typically uh, difficult for the teacher so what you need to do is you come here and change all this and then you recompile uh, the simulation but uh, we have made it uh, slightly easier more accessible to teachers who do not want to do uh, any programming so this is the mo edit model page so you click on this particular icon in this particular URL where we have uploaded the editor so when you click on the link it will show up this so the bot is the way it is lay la. so uh, question mark is the deck uh, exclamation is also the deck so you just have to lay it from left to right from bottom then after that zero blank 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 blank, blank then uh, zero so I explain how it works is uh, this is the question mark exclamation uh, zero uh, o o and then uh, question mark question mark so this is how it's lay then this is o this is blank 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 and then followed by o so it's the way of uh, laying all this la. so there are seven of them and then there are 13 of them across la. so this is how the EGSS uh, is, is working la. so you, you can customize this but this is uh, it, it's, it's very easy to I mean it's very uh, easy to change because it's all here now but if you are finding it difficult then don't don't change this what you need to do as a as a more uh, you know you, you, you just want to change the question just copy this copy this and then come back to uh, I recommend using some kind of editor like this uh. then you can paste it here you can paste your answers here then you can you can continue to edit it uh. so you know so but you must make sure that you provide the question and then uh, follow the syntax and then followed by the answer uh. oh, so uh, you know something like this so you can keep on changing so the format is question then uh, in quotations then answer in quotations then if there's a YouTube to watch then you just follow this particular syntax ah. oh. if, if there's a YouTube to watch ah. so this is deck 1 this is deck 2 ah. oh. so you just copy all this back to the editor oh. copy it back here control A then control V to paste in the question set then similarly for this one you paste in the question set then uh, number of players uh, depending on yourself you, you you may want to restrict it but by default I think it was six la. so you can change it to two these are the icon uh, for the player la. so I use the chess set from the Unicode you can edit this if you think you want to bonus move means let's say it lands and then the student after they discuss they, they realize that the student got the answer correct then you click on yes uh, the answer the question was answered correctly because this this one it doesn't have uh, AI to do the marking la, so that it will be peer marked by the other students so if they agree that uh, this was answered correctly then there will be a bonus move la. that means after answering correctly uh, then it will it will have a bonus move that you can move by uh, a random number of one to six as a bonus the penalty was previously something else so you may want to set it to zero or not just accept the default value which is negative one or negative two la. Oh. shuffle means the the deck of cards in this particular questions are all uh, shuffled like a real deck of cards so it will not play in sequence la. so if you want to play in sequence then set this to false okay if not then just set it to true i think true is a little bit more interesting show instruction is for example here you you do not want any any text uh, at the bottom of it la. then you want to you want to remove the instructions then you can set it to false okay set it to false then you save it okay that means all these data let me try again you save all this data then now you download the model okay the download the model it will save inside your I, i'm going to save it inside my desktop okay then this particular file upload this file directly to SLS it, it will run uh, as a as an interactive okay so that, that's how we've been doing it lah. 
okay then let's say i uh, i want to just show you how the file works i just double click on it to unzip it and then i'm going to bring the browser to the foreground but so this is my this is my file editor so you just need to check if you just want to check whether the file is, has been injected correctly with your questions you just double click on the index and then uh, it appears to be working so you can select uh, two and two dice let's say and then you can see that now uh, you can roll dice so, uh, so, so there are two players so you roll the dice okay you automatically move unlike the other games that were designed so it lands on a, a normal o so it will not fill any of the questions so now you will ask for question uh, for stu for the second player to roll okay so you move to 11 again this is a o okay so there's no bonus move okay so here is a questions okay so player one lands on a green square so you should now see that the questions have now been is the one that you have modified lah. okay so what is Einstein so let's say you you got it you can you can watch the YouTube okay then let's say you got it right okay then there should be a bonus lah, a bonus move okay so bonus is one randomly okay then player two let me try to play until I get a question which I just added okay 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 so far it's been quite lucky to land on, on the O's okay so now there's another question so I uh, remember this is the the question that I set lah, huh? 118 so the answer is uh, 100 and 130 so you, you get it correct then yes then there will be a bonus move if no in this case there should be no penalty or uh, move back by zero space okay so there is no penalty because in the editor we have set it to zero okay so the the students uh, can now so now you can add your own questions very easily like, via the the editor okay so uh, remember to subscribe uh, to the youtube so that you can get other new updates of the new tutorial that i make